today's video we're talking about color grading most of us we shoot a video we like to shoot our video in flat but we don't really color grade our video i mean we do but we don't really color grade our video like that so i'm really gonna show you a simple way an easy way to color grade your video i shot all this video in s log 2 on my sony s7r2 and uh the other one i shot on sony a7 3 so we're gonna go to garage band garage band don't listen to me we, we're gonna go to uh final cut and real, real quick i'm gonna show you guys how do i how do i color grade my videos so we're gonna go to final cut i already got like uh full clips one 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 two three i said four three clips right here uh that i'm gonna show you guys how to how do i color grade as you can see uh nothing is on here the first thing that we're gonna do is uh click on the clip that you're trying to grade and then we're gonna click this little icon right here this little icon right here uh you see this this is your color wheel this what this what we're gonna use to color good our video we won't use any curves or anything we're gonna use this and this and this right here a vector scope and an rgb overlay that's what we're gonna use to you know to call a good video and i uh, got this on i got this line right here so i know i'm not going too high over 100 i can go higher like 96 is good enough and so i'ma just just follow along along with me that this is the easy way to call a grid your videos and stuff so this is your highlights and this is your shadows and this is your midtones right here that's all you gotta know this little line that's right here it, that's your skin line that's everybody's color uh that's everybody's skin tone so uh yeah let's get into it color grading already <laughs> so this is the first video i'm gonna color grade and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it from scratch. So my highlights, I'm going to bring them up until they hit that 96 line. My shadows, I'm going to bring them up right there until they hit that zero line. Maybe above the zero line a little bit. And my midtones, bring them down a little bit, just, just a little bit just a little bit don't bring them too much just, i'll bring them down just a little bit and then what we're going to do here this is saturations right here all this blue that you see right here that's your saturation so i'm going to saturate my video a little bit because it's flat midtones saturate the video uh go to your shadows saturate your shadows a little bit highlight so I'll show you how light and look at that. We got an image that's already color corrected. We're not grading yet. Right now we're color correcting. Before you start grading, you gotta color correct your video first, and that's what we're doing right here. As you can tell before and after, it's already color corrected. Look at that. Oh, that's our next clip. Don't go too far, buddy. Anywho. After that, it looks too blue, doesn't it? And you see how highlights is hitting that hundred bar line. I'm gonna try to bring it down a little bit, so I, like right there. If I was a person that, if I don't want to add a look, I'll leave it like this and totally clean. But if you want to get technical with it, uh, you will add another will not to like try to get your white balance if you don't want it to be too too blue like how it is you see i like it right 
there just right there I move that just a little bit if I say before if I want to take it before how it was that's how it was it was too pink ish too bluish now uh, now I want to bring it back to our uh, just right there give it in a little magenta but mess with it right there and uh now i'm gonna add i'm gonna add a custom lot we're gonna go right here where it was already there i was already searching for one but here this way you're gonna go and you click your you search up for lot fuck let me make this full screen You search up for lots and you got custom light right here. Go right there, put on the clip that you want to edit. And go right here and if you already have lots downloaded in your like in your computer and you if you already have them in your like final cuts, it should be easy for you to uh like choose which light you want to put on there uh, here I'm gonna put this this one right here and you see this is too strong I'm gonna take this down all the way down if you you don't see the difference but look before after before after can you tell can you tell can you tell after and if you don't want, if I don't want that one, I can change to each one of these. I can put to each one of these. And look at that. It's already looking beautiful. And bam. And now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here. On a little bit of situations. Just mess with it to the point where I want it. Don't over color grade it, cause if you do, it's gonna break your video and your video won't even look clean. We're gonna go to uh U versus uh U saturations and curves. So here I'm gonna go to U versus saturations and take down our blue a little bit because it's too bluish. Just take down a little bit. Right there. As you can tell before, after, before, after. Just looking at highlights before, after by that's already looking beautiful. They, the color grade is done. You want to see before? Look at before and after. Look at that. Next clip. This is this. This was a color grade. How you can color grade uh, the sunset. Like a sunset uh, scene. If you have a sunset scene. This is how you can color grade a sunset scene. Really easily. Now we're going to go straight sun. Out. Look at this. It's looking a mess. Look at this. It's looking a mess, but it's even gonna look. It's gonna. It's even. It's gonna. It's gonna look even better. <laughs> Talking. Anyhow, uh, we the first thing I always do. Ah, uh, take down my highlights. Relax, computer. I'll take down my highlights until they hit that ninety six. Take down my shadows, but we don't really got to do much with this. The video is already looking clean. I bring up my shadow. I mean, my midtones just a little bit. Saturation up the video. Done oversaturated, though. All both angles. And look at that. Before. You want to see before and after. Look at before and after. Before. After. The video is color corrected since we use the uh we use the red uh 
we use the red uh, white balance outside. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to mess with the white balance. I like it like that. And then we're going to go back to color grade the video now. It's already color corrected. I'm going to add uh, I'm going to add another wheel here. Add you versus saturation just to check my colors. Boom, skin tones is always more important. You see that line right there? That's his skin tone. You see, it was too blue. I'm going to take it down just a little bit. And uh, right here, too. I want to make it pop out. I'm going to click on it. On oh, News versus Luma. Just bring it up a little bit and then go to my saturations on my skin. Pop it up just a little bit more. I want my skin to pop out. You feel me? I want the person to pop out. And then <clears throat> we're going to go to the second wheel that we made. We're going to click this icon right here. Click to add. What is it? Add call mask. Oh. Computer, quit playing with me. Boy, if you don't stop playing with me. Oh, okay. We're going to click on this little pen. Click on the skin. And there you go, right there. Here's how I do it, view mask. Now we're gonna tweak with this a little bit until we find the rule, right? No, that's already queen. You know what, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I think I like it like this. Cause we only, we only want to mess with this. Hair skin, don't we? Okay, I think I'm going to leave it like that. We're going to click outside. And I want this to be orange until I'm going to bring this down just right there. And that's beautiful. And that's already looking beautiful. Uh, but I want my black to be original black. I'm going to add another color wheel. Do the same thing on my clothes. My clothes are looking a little bluish. I'm gonna do the same thing on my clothes. Boom. See that? See that we fixed his clothes. His clothes was looking a little too bluish. Boom. And if you want to see before and after, I will show you. But we're going to go down to our uh, huge use saturation, saturation and curves. Uh, we're going to take Luma versus saturation. Take it down a little bit. Saturation versus saturation. Take it down a little bit. And look at that. Look at that. We got a perfect image. And I'm going to go here. I don't even know what I'm doing. But anywho. <coughs> Sorry for my voice. <coughs> and we're going to go back to the second one we made. Second. And everything is looking beautiful. If we take that out. Look at that before. And after. Before. And after. Now. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you see this. Ooh, I switched this video, then I, then I, then I. I gotta do a little something, something. Hold up.
Okay. <coughs> I think I fixed it. Okay, we're good now. So, look at that. Before and after. Color graded. And... Uh, make that a little longer. I just want to show you. Look at that. Now we got another clip. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing. Now watch this. I can either do this. I can either do uh, save this, save it, and name it Musa. Okay, my keyboard is messing up. Save it and go here and search up right there. And guess what? We could just boom and slap it on there. And guess what? Guess what? Look at that. Guess what? And guess what? Guess what? Yeah. Boom. Yeah. It's great. Look, look at that. By the way, it's great. Before, yeah. after. Yeah. You want to see all three videos? I mean, all three clips? Here we go. One. Before, after. Before, yeah. after. Yeah. Boom. Get, get it's color graded. Thank you for watching. If you want to see any more of these kind of video, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you leave it a like. Make sure you leave it a comment. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell for more to see. I'll see you to the next video. And Patrick.